Honestly, if I want to save money, I would just stop buying those things. But, yeah. you know, the addiction. What are you buying them, saving money for? Uh, for life. You know, like paying bills. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and it's... No, so... You got to pull your mic up to your face. Are Russ. we rolling? Are yeah, we good? yeah. All we're right. This is not our conventional opening, but we're just going to get right to it. Talking about Bill's budget here on <laughs> Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing, episode 3,272. Hey, hey. We are blessed with Ross. He's here in the studio you mean with Brian's us. Brian's budget. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Brian. We all have new names. Ross has been fucking on my name all day. And he wanted me to share with everyone that he is heavily under the influence. Oh. So he is not responsible for any mistakes or any anything that might come out weird. It's the not him. It's the medication. Yeah. The downward spiral starts here. Exactly. Right. Well, no, it started like two hours ago. Yeah. yeah. But the downward spiral continues here. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Can I have your lighter? And you I promise. You can, of course. Oh. R- Ross, give me. Or here. Yeah. Thank you. I'm closer. So. Anyway, just a quick few announcements before we get back to dissecting my finances. Uh, Of course, a special shout out to our special friends in Ireland. Thank you all for tuning in. And a special thank you to, what was the name? Oh, buddy, yeah. Yeah, I I forgot what the name. Yeah, somebody somebody, uh, is super happy from about our love for Ireland. Commented on our videos. And we do it for you. We do it for our fans, even though we can't remember your name. So, sorry about that. Sorry. Ross, apologize. I'm sorry, too. We're all sorry here. We're a bunch of assholes. Unfortunately, uh, Say Nothing could not join us. He still thinks it's Hanukkah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's... And I don't know. I like John and all, but he never really has that much to say. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we'll, of course we'll miss him, but I we'll, think... We'll poop more on the poop mic in honor of him. Exactly right. And I think we found a decent replacement for him today. Yeah. Uh, oh, we, oh, oh, we decent? I think I'm better than say nothing. You think you're better? Yeah, I am. I'm I think you guys should fight the next episode. We're going to have a fight night? Yeah. Why not? I'll kick his ass. Bring it on, Johnny boy. All right. And we're recording all this, you know. So this yeah. is like... This is, uh, yeah, no backing out. Yeah. All right. So you've heard it here first on Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. Ross to fight Uncle John. All right. Stay tuned. We we had this on camera. Oh, we sure will. <laughs> and actually, it's kind of unfortunate. We tried to get Zach to join us today, yeah. but scheduling didn't Domino, work out. Mr. Domin, right? Exactly right. And Mr. Asshole. Whoa. See, whoa. You know, we wanted you and him to duke it out today, but I guess yeah. we'll just have to we w- talk. Today was going to be fight night, but yeah. Oh, well. Next time. Maybe I told him. I mean, Zach was like, I don't, I don't really... Want, I feel like I'll you know scar Ross after I beat the living shit out of him. Is, is that so. really what he said? Because it's not. I'll break the bo- this bottle of his head and chuck it up his a- tiny little butthole. No, I think his exact words were, "What that Ross dude? You mean that bitch? That oh. one that always messes up your name at the Chinese restaurant earlier today? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck. I think that's what Zach said, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what tightened the butthole. You know, his that's little butthole. I don't know what I I can't finish what I want to that, say. No, that's good. Let's no, keep going. Little I don't know what to say. I'm bad at this shit. You guys are more funnier than I am. That's not true. We're not trying to be funny here. We want a good description of this butthole. <laughs> His butthole. I'm is gonna po- paint after this. Probably um, run down how many dicks he got up it. Well, then it wouldn't be tight. I mean, it would be more like you know, Loose. like a uh, Portillo's Italian beef. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna say that tighten the butthole sounds like a wrestler's name. Tighten the butt. Like tighten. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tighten so. the butthole. Anyway. Could be a punk. Tight, tighten it and the buttholes. I yeah, that'd be. Yeah. Ross, are you writing this down? I was thinking, you know what would be a good name? Um, is to name a band Chow Mein Kampf. Oh, that's good. And then, all, and then all the songs would be about how Chinese food is superior to every other food. I like it. That's. I don't know. I'm a big fan of wordplay. So. What's that? What What is wordplay? Yeah. You know, like puns or rhymes yeah. or things like that. Okay. So do you know the book Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler? I heard of it. I, I never read it. It's, it's really remarkable stuff. I really recommend it. <laughs> so what Phil did was he took Mein Kampf and added Chow, you know, I, like I get Chow Mein? I get it now. Okay. Have you ever heard that 30s song about Chow Mein? No. 
It's really great. I, I've been listening to a. I played Mafia Two. Okay. <laughs> on uh, on on Xbox a while back, but they they have like a fucking three to four disc soundtrack where it's all shit from the thirties, like piano, jazz, and stuff. Just really great. Oh, and, and what's that's why the game is so great because it moves from like the thirties to the sixties with everything, the way people dress and the cars and everything. That's cool. So I don't know. I've been listening to the, it. Makes work a lot less depressing when you're listening to thirties music because it's like, oh, this is when America is prosperous and not my shitty life. Sure. I'm, ma- I'm making this steal for somebody uh, good. All right. Yeah. To be fair, I don't think the thirties were really yeah. a prosperous yeah. time for America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seeing that. Like the stock the market crashed. Yeah. Like so. Well, we went for the great reception. The almost on the present, so you know. I don't yeah. know if you can really compare them. I feel like everything Ooh. I've heard about the Great Depression. Oh yeah. Sounds like way shittier. Like people were killing themselves and yeah. Like you had an apple for the whole family for dinner. Right. I, I an apple know. core. Yeah. I don't really know that much the history, so I still keep my comments to myself. Sure. No. No. We encourage them. This is. Well, you need to read Mein Kampf. I have never got to read that piece of shit. Whoa. I, uh, my cat Pierogi likes to rip up t- toilet paper, so I think Mein Kampf is the next thing. <laughs> put, it should. That this thing is Put just, some catnip in there. You know, I'm, we have not a big fan of religion, no. but I don't... Wa- I, I heard a lot of people read about it to uh, like learn from how shitty it is. Though. Will you stop interrupting Ross? Uh, Ross, you're not a big fan I of religion. Pissed off, no. But I don't hate people who are realistic there's a difference between you know being racist and what genocide people just not a fan of something and uh, what the whole thing what those nazis was about what's earlier today i was watching the girls bastards is just those people were, 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 were brain loss or completely evil there was a fine line you know that not liking something and then hating some, something you know yeah inglorious bastards was uh, quentin tarantino yeah yeah okay never saw it Oh, it's a it's a massive Pete, and I don't say it a lot about movies, but that's one yeah. of my favorite by him. Did you do Gran Torino? Yeah, no, 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 that no. Was Cl- Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Okay, yeah. all right. Here's a fan fact: um, Brad's wife's brother's wife is was in um, Gran Torino. Brad's wife's Brother brother's wife wife was in Gran Torino. She was the sister. Okay. You know who I'm talking about? The the foreign one? She was, yeah, she was Hmong or Hong, one of the mm. it, it was the it was the the the, the 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 dude. How long ago did you see it? Oh god, when did it come out? 2010. So probably around 8 years. Okay, uh Quint Eastwood character was bounded with um I forgot his name was a, was a kid who who was a was a boy. So the boy's character who was a girl, was Brad's, you know what I said earlier. Wait, she died? No, she got the shit put beat out by her cousin and raped in the movie. So she was beat up by... Gotta talk to the mic, Ross. Sorry, doing my best. So it was the cousin that raped her, so that yeah. is Brad's wife's brother's... Sister, w- played, played her... Po- aunt's yeah. son would be the cousin? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, in the movie, you, you're twisting my words. Okay. Phil, do you... Are we going to have a fight tonight? What I don't want to fight anybody. I'm all about peace and love tonight. What are you doing, Phil? I'm putting Ross's mic closer to his face. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I was about <laughs> to get the duct tape out. But <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, like that one time with the chair. Oh, who could forget? But don't please. No, I don't want to get there. All right, we're not going to get there. We're going to get back to my finances. You want me to... Like round two of taping you. There. No, but the fact that that, that that you talk about that. That's wait, you, so you don't want to talk about it, but it's okay if we do it. Maybe later. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying to get this straight, man. I know. I don't want to when when it's kind of like the one thing. Kinda, the one thing we had all, uh, what almost a three or four year falling out that was real bad. Well, no, I'm just trying to get it uh, straight because I. It's kind of like when you like call somebody the name that they're not, you know. Like Brian or something, you know. That's just me. I forget people's names. Got that, Phil? Yeah. No need to open up old wounds. No need. Okay. Okay. No need to. Well, can I uh, bring up a story before I forget? Um, So I want to know, 
you know those moments uh it was kind of like when i was uh trying to do stand up with bill um a lot of people including bill told me you know you need to think about what people think is funny and not what you think is funny because this thing made me like cackle on the ground laughing sure and uh so what i here this is kind of funny because so zach was supposed to come today Mm -hmm. and i wanted to tell this in front of all you guys especially bill and zach because and sorry ross i sorry ross that's kind of i wanted to very lightly serve you there so i can be the bitch with the tight butthole (laughs) no but anyways um I was uh I asked John if I should even mention this because I uh I've, I've had a very bad week so I've been in a weird place and um all right let me start of what my idea was so um trying to think where this started talk about so, the thing that you think funny yeah, yeah. but other people wouldn't yeah yeah I'm trying to think of how because this is a very I'm going to get the dark shit out in the beginning of the episode <laughs> because so okay I had I, I wasn't on good terms with my family and they thought it was because one of my family members had died. It was my father. I'm not gonna talk too much about my family anymore. But anyways, my father uh he wasn't there uh for most of my life. So I kind of like and I'm a fucking jokester guy, so I kinda like don't care. I'm like, what route to, can I take take this? And I keep getting calls that he's getting worse. So I um uh, Honestly, I was weighing out, and I'm I'm asking you guys, what would you do if you got a family member, say a far cousin, that never really like, you know, had any uh, close relationship with you, and they're about to pass away, but it's your responsibility to take care of the funeral, right? I mean, how would you handle it? Because to me, that shit's. I looked up all this stuff. I'm like, you know, I have to prepare myself, not just mentally, but how much is this going to cost and whatnot, you know. So I started looking up that you can actually, yeah. What, Ross? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you put your finger up because like you're gonna say something. It, I, I, I've been told funerals or whatever can, or thousands of thousands of dollars, and why is this on you? Oh, because I'm like next of kin. He doesn't have any family. You, your brother? Yeah, but I'm older than him. So it just shit is all. He doesn't have any. The all that he goes on me. And he doesn't have any health, life, I mean, life insurance or anything like that? No, no. So how are you supposed to afford all this shit? Exactly. So I was thinking about that, and I started to see where I can cut corners. Sure. So so, uh, I found out the cheapest coffin is 500. And, yeah, by the way, this is the only dark part of the episode. I'm going to get it all out right now. So What were you going to say, Bill? No, I was going to say, so if you're looking into coffins... You've decided on like a traditional burial. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like there'd be cheaper options than yeah, yeah. Like a, donating no. the body. Well, to I was I, I well I I read that it's uh that it's required for a burial, a co- so so you can't just like put the body in. But I mean, like, there's other options beyond burying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cremation and. It yeah, was why don't you? I personally, if I have one the day I die. Um, I would just want a cremation and everybody gets shit faced. That w- that's what I would want. With the ashes, with, with your body, with my asses in the in the room. Not in the blunt. No. Okay. Okay. I'm like in what they put in the in the in, what's in the, the urn. Yeah. yeah. And everybody gets and then they, they, me on the shelf and everybody gets shit faced in my honor. That's what my why don't you that you want cremation? Does that cost more than what you want to do? I I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends if you set it on fire yourself. Right. So. Or you could bury it yourself without the coffin. Exactly. So so here's the path that I went on. Sure. I'm just sipping some tea in the bathtub mm-hmm. and thinking, you know what? Meditating. Yeah. <laughs> About what to do with your <laughs> yeah. father's yeah. cadaver. Exactly. Okay. And, and, and it said you can do it. You can bury him on your property as long as uh, the zoning doesn't have any restrictions. Like you don't want his head, you know, bursting someone's no. toilet pipe. No. And um, so so then the other thing was I ran into this. Uh, article that said th- there was like this badass uh, like marine guy and he he's like man I got all my guns on my fireplace and I'd love to put my father's skull right in the middle of mm-hmm. all that and apparently you can there's a pl- I forgot what it's called it's called like a school or skull skull factory or something in Michigan 
where they will taxidermy whatever the hell you give them, but only the bones. And you get and depending on the price, you get to keep it. So mm. I thought, and this is what I was asking uh, John. I mean, he's been missing a lot of episodes. He wasn't so, here last time I was at yeah. you. No. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe the new Say Nothing could be like his skeleton on strings. Oh, that <laughs> John's skeleton? No, uh, my dad's. Okay. So, so I don't know. And that that was my idea. Um, Does it cost anything to get all the muscles and organs out? Not if you I do it yourself. I, yeah, it, well, yeah, that's exactly it. And then I got into an argument with Kelly because I'm like, and, you know, I know how to bleach the bones. You boil them. Well, the kitchen's going to smell. All right, I'll do it outside on the grill, you know. And um, it, you can do all this legally. I was supposed to, this shit is all legal. This, this is all legal, which is which is why I thought it would be. And I'll be honest, this would be great to have a viral show. Like, oh, this guy hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing, has you know, say nothing is his fucking dad's skeleton. Plus, the biggest thing that I thought would be really funny, since I'm on bad terms with the rest of my family, I was gonna bring the puppet with, and be like, hey, everyone, <laughs> haven't seen you guys in a while, you know. You could make jokes. You yeah. could. Are you going to do it in English or Polish? In a, in a Polish accent. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And, and, yeah, and in Polish. And you could set jokes up like, geez, Dad, have you been eating? You're just bones. Yeah, right? Exactly. So, but I started thinking about it, and, yeah, it was way too too hard. It, dude, you know how hard it'd be to, like, try and glue all those ribs together without the cats jumping on them or something, you know? And th- well, no. What, what got me to think about it? That's, I'm telling this to John, and John's like, you know, I, and I'm like squealing in the bathtub, laughing my ass off. Sure. And he's like, Phil, I've known you so many years. Y- this is either a complete joke, or you really need to go to a fucking mental hospital because he's like, you're the only one laughing about this. So I don't know. He kind of, and then I, and then I thought about it. What is him? I thought about what he said, and then I thought about you know what Conan O'Brien already has a skeleton on his show. We'd be copping off. What yeah. gives him authority to know what a person needs to be hospitalized? Because he's, he's like a brother to me. I know him 25 well, years. Well, I'm saying that's <laughs> so, not so nothing. Why doesn't he bury your fucking dad? No, there's nothing wrong with your idea. That's not make, it's not harming yourself or others. There's Wait, what? That, I'm trying to say. What's your question? Is, there's no reason to be hospitalized over that. It, it's just the fact that you. Oh, I don't know. What, what he said, I just found a little arrogant because he doesn't realize the only way you get hospitalized is if you harm yourself or others. What you're doing is it's a little dark, but it's not. Yeah, it's we- just a little weird. Right? Yes, exactly. Not to mention, you don't know how the cats will like hanging out in a rib cage. You know, I can see that happening. I see. I, I've seen that in, I think, a, in a Simpsons episode. Actually, yeah. So it's like The Simpsons. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I don't know what you guys. But I also think thinking about. about Gavin. What do you think Gavin was will think? Yeah, I, I would not want to like slaughter my dad in the basement and Gavin yeah. on that. You know, mm, no. So maybe if he was a little older, you, you yeah. understand. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah, I feel like twelve or thirteen is the age. Yeah. Hey, my stepdad is uh, uh, what's the word? What you 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 would do? You would award for it? Alluring. Um, taking muscles and everything out of a body. Uh, cleaning? Yeah, cleaning a dead body. That's fucking awesome. Harvesting? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? They say uh, a kid like the same. My t- S- a surgeon? Yeah. Whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. Uh, mortician? I don't know. Hey, then maybe that's a new future, being a mortician if you have a- No, I don't want to do that's I I I I realize John was kind of right. That's that's way too much. Yeah. I'm trying to be funny. I'm not. <laughs> I disagree. I think you're being very funny. Yeah. I, I never think I'm funny anymore. Oh. Oh, come on, Phil. No, man. So, sometimes it like doesn't you, happen. No, man. it just doesn't, man. Like you said, sometimes you can be offensive, what you think is funny, but a lot of times you are funny. Oh, yeah. Well, because it, when I try, yeah, Bill said the same thing. When I try to be funny, I'm just being a fucking dick. Yeah. But then when I'm just myself, I guess there there's some funny. I don't know what's funny. You know, like that made me laugh, like sitting at a dinner table with a f- my dad's skeleton on strings. And then, yeah, John's like, dude, I don't know if we can be friends. He said that to you? No, no. But, y- you know, like that vibe. So. And you think you're funny by taking that ashtray away from Actually, Bill. Actually, I was thinking I was going to light it. That's really funny. Really funny right there. So I think the more pressing concern is not perhaps the death of your father, 
but rather the death of your sense of self-respect and self-worth and pride, Phil. You are funny. All right, thank you. Of course. Yeah, and you're dead sexy, too. Dead sexy, huh? Yeah, Ooh, dead that's sexy. Good. See, that's wordplay. Right there. What you just did. It, that's I'm just cloning a movie. Oh, what Ross. Movie? No one knew that. What, what movie is dead cr- sexy in? Uh, a million uh, of them? Austin Powers, dude. Ba- fat oh. bastard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm dead sexy. I'm dead sexy. I know you Irish people. My, uh, no, my when, <laughs> when you're talking a Scottish accent. He was Scottish. I'm Scottish. Yeah. Now they're really offended by that. Ah, oh. uh, damn it, my lads. I'm and when, sorry. Uh, and when you're talking a Scottish accent, you're Claw from Black Panther. Fuck that movie. It was so overrated. <laughs> So much uh, political bullshit. Actually, you know, I'm gonna. That, that's how karma flows, Ross. You know, I, I, he's Brian. I'm Todd, and you're Claw. And yeah. I, I, and you're not the first person who's, who said I look like him. About ten other people said that. Yeah. And it ruined the movie for me. It was like, yeah, was like, you know who else? He, I'm, he, you know, the guy who plays get um that little mo- monster in Lord of the Rings. Goblin, like Spiegel. Yeah, Spiegel. He, that's him. That. People say you look like Smeagol? No, that's the that's the act though. So he voices him. Yeah. Sorry, that was my weird text message. Let's see. So were you watching Black Panther just thinking, is that me? Was I in this movie? I don't remember being in this movie. I actually did say that to myself. It, 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 Bill was actually the first person that uh told me that what you you love what you wrote on my Facebook? Yeah, that I, I didn't know you were in Black Panther. Yeah, and and I, and I was going to college because there's a picture of him smiling evil, and it looks just like you and Wangus Young. You know, ever done? Yes, <laughs> ever done? Yes. So I was watching it, um, going to California, and I said, "Yeah, exactly, looks like me." And I couldn't even finish watching the movie. I fell asleep because I thought it was. So it was boring. really fucking boring, man. Yeah. I, I hate to say it. It was the most boring fucking movie ever. But you, you know what movie that I saw recently that everybody said was going to be shit, and I liked it. What? Death Wish. Have you guys heard of that? I, I, I the old one. No, no, like the Charles new, Bronson. The, no, no. There's a new one. Bruce Willis. Yeah, I, 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 I am not too nuts about Bruce Willis. I am not either. I think he's just a old, really kind of stubborn douche. I, I, I don't know. I, I never, I never liked him. Everybody's nuts about like Die Hard, all oh, the best Christmas movie ever. I, I was never nuts about him. Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction, he was good. That was that's like the one thing I think he was good in. Was he in a baseball movie too? I'm I'm not uh, sure. Fifth Element. Yeah, that was that good. baseball movie. That was good. Well, how do you not like Fifth Element? I I, oh. I don't remember it honestly. Oh, what was that when he was a ghost? I I see dead people. Oh. Uh, Sixth Sense? Yeah, Sixth Sense. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was good in that. He had yeah. he's hit or miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but but you, Death no, Death Wish was it was like a Chicago John Wick. Really? Yeah, straight up. It's it's he's a surgeon and uh it's like they they uh, hype all the you know how like last year Chicago reached the murder capital of the US or mm-hmm. whatever? They're like talking about how it's like, Oh, the heat is rising and so are the deaths and all this shit and that's like when it takes place. And basically, uh, his his, I mean, I'm not. Ru- I I don't give a shit if I'm ruining it. Whatever. He um his his wife gets murdered and the uh, daughter gets in a coma after a gang uh, burglarizes them. So he he's like, man, fuck all this shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna find. Oh oh, and the cops can't prove it because there's such. I forgot what it is. It's like such a huge gang. And when they go in the you know the investigation room, there's like. 70 fucking papers on the wall of non-solved crimes. He's like, fuck the cops. They're not doing shit. I'm going to fucking solve this shit. And he, he like buys a Glock and starts killing people left and right to try and get to... And it's... I, I don't know. I liked it because it's like, you know, it's a new movie. So you watch it on like a good fucking TV and it's like, yep, there's right in front of Bottom Lounge. There's right in front of Metro. You know, you they can... Were, t- they were in front of Bottom Lounge of Metro? Literally? It, 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 yeah, it's all in Chicago. I didn't know it was in Chicago. I think, I think yeah, it's all in Chicago. I, I think his home though is like it looks like Evanston. Mm. So, but whatever. Well, he's a surgeon. He, he's got to be yeah, close the hospi- to Northwestern. He's uh, he's a surgeon at Rush, I think. Oh, because that's that because that's a hospital that I went to uh, for my seizure stuff, and and I know like that whole area. The Rush, mm. the Rush Hospital. Yeah, that's a good hospital. Yeah. Do you you have any complaints about it though? Because I hear no, every uh, rats about it. 
No, I don't. I don't have any complaint. I, I I didn't even want to go there. I mean, I just got uh, referred there by my old doctor from Cleveland. So, I hear their surgeons have this terrible bloodlust and just start killing everyone. Yeah, man. But other than that, do yep. they start mispronouncing names? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's oh. not that they mispronounce them. They just pick different ones. Pick different. Okay. Yeah. Any anything else new, guys? Any other reviews? I don't know. We my, sis, talk. my twin sister, sister got married in, in the airport. Yeah. I walked her down the aisle. Wait, your two was, sisters got married? I have twin. I I, I have a twin. I have my. I have a twin. You're okay. Got you. I thought you said two, not twin. No, yeah, I have four sisters actually. Yeah, and one we of them talk, got married. Yep. Do we like the guy? I love the guy. He took me to Cincinnati last, like we were talking about in uh in the car. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he, What'd you do in Cincinnati? Oh, his, uh, I, I was saying this in the car. His family owns a brewery. Gotcha. How's, how's the beer? Be it, honest. It, it, it's, it was good. It, it really is. You, we, it's not, it's always, lo- it's always local. You go and get it in Cincinnati, but it's, it was good. I, we all, I loved it. They had a great, uh, what's it called? Um, Bali wine. Oh, nice. And, okay. it, and it, what it was uh, pretty much is they 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 host a, a boxy amateur boxy against other breweries in Cincinnati. So each uh each uh so bo- boxing in the bar. No, it was in the it was in the parking lot of the brewery. Like a in boxing the, match. Yeah, there was okay. like six but, of them. But so fight club breweries. Yeah, the, different breweries. It was like six different breweries in the Cincinnati area. That okay. sent boxers. Well, the amateurs fighting the fighters of the workers of for the. Brewery. Got you. Okay. Yeah. So would that be an appropriate venue for you and Domino to hash things out, or you and John? I don't know, but they, they, my uh, brother-in-law maybe say I might do it next year. All right. Yeah. Are you gonna box? Well, I don't know. You got to well, trade. You got. They actually trade the boxers. John, yeah, John and Zach are good people to train like, on. The breweries train the boxers. No, the the people who box get trained by professional boxers. Okay. Like for two months. Ross, I gotta say, I'm not sold on your brother-in-law. Why? Well, because I asked what's so great about him, and you immediately say, "Well, he took me to Cincinnati." And you want to be honest? Mm-hmm. He's he married my sister. Mm-hmm. He's a, he's a great guy. He never complains. He 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 uh oh he never makes me pay for anything. Anything I try everything to buy a bill. He paid for everything. The flight to Cincinnati. Like we stayed at his parents' place. Like the food, drinks, everything. Every time I try to buy something, he never lets me pay pay anything, and I get along with him. It's very generous of him. Yeah. I could uh, I could use some extra grocery money. Can you ask? Yeah, will you ask your brother-in-law? Well, he also says he's very frugal. It's oh, so frugal. He, he pays for everything, but he's frugal. I see how it is. Oh, he he said that to himself. You know, he, you're my brother-in-law. Of course, I go. I, I love you. I, I'm gonna pay for it, everything, but you know. But those asshole friends of yours. <laughs> and exactly. I'm sorry. By the way, your birthday passed, and I'm sorry that we didn't get you a hooker this year. That's fine. 2019's right around the corner. Yep. Buy me a bill, and we're good. <laughs> Who do you think we are? Your brother-in-law? <laughs> yes. Oh. I invited you to the two of David Buster's. You didn't want to come. Yeah, because it's on a Monday, yeah. and I know you, you did it on a Monday because Jewel needs you on the weekend. I know you did it. Ex- exactly. Yep. Fuck Jewel, man. Yeah, I know. I, I, I got today off. I did my, uh, you know. I'll need to save up for that hooker anyways, so next year. You're not the first yeah. person who offered me. Nobody follows through with this shit. Oh, but don't you want it to be some weird shit, like a uh, one eye or, you know, like an amputee? <sighs> shit, you no. seem like that kind of guy. Drink to that, huh? No, I like my goth girls and tattoos and goth piercings. Girls. Okay. We'll go to okhooker.com. Goth girls. We got this handsome claw-looking guy. You can give me a claw... You'll wear a claw. Oh, yeah. so re- role play too, yeah, huh? Yeah, role play and shit. I, dude, I hear those uh, Comic Cons, man. They get some pretty intense hotel parties there, orgies. Well, I, actually, one night uh, I was bagging for these people. They was, they was, they, was, they, they was said they're going to a furry convention. For, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They wear their costumes during yes. sex. Yeah. It was an actual convention. In Where? In Rosemont. Oh, Lord. I, I said, that's cool, but I said to myself, that's the, that's the way out. What were they buying? Lots of booze. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can respect that. I think they were from Michigan. Mm. So uh, I, I got this you know, new welding job. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, by the way, you know it's really. I I mentioned this to Bill, but you know it's really funny. I uh, what? Are you know? I, no, no, never mind. Um, I'm getting off track. Oh yeah, no. You know what happened is I I don't think I mentioned this to you. So I got this. I'm pretty cool there. Everybody gets along there. You know how they say uh, when you, you the, the, when you got tough times, you just grow closer to people, which is like at work where you got work friends and out. And so you see these people every day, and I'm cool with everyone there. You know, everybody just kind of gets along. But this one guy, he's this. Uh, his name is Derek, and he's from uh, he's from like the worst neighborhood in Chicago. He's he's really cool, but uh, I think he's out of his fucking mind because he. In what I, way? I, I I can't I can't take him. Okay, first of all, he he's very paranoid. I think it's because he I don't know maybe got mugged a lot during life or something. Well, you but said he, he's in the worst area of Chicago. Yeah, yeah. I'll be the same way. <laughs> Times <laughs> that. He, he uh, it it makes me laugh though because he sound. Have you guys seen Next Friday? Yes. Have you seen it, Bill? Nope. Or, uh, Bill, have you seen Dead Presidents? Nope. Okay. Well, how could you not see Next Friday and you wear an NWA shirt? Yeah, man. What the fuck's wrong with you, Brian? I am so sorry. Continue with your story. <laughs> no, well, there's there's a pimp in there. You know Pinky? You remember Pinky the guy? Yes. Owns, yeah. Yes. He sounds exactly like Pinky, and I can't take him seriously. Really? And a funny thing is, so, like, first, here's what I don't get. First day, he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, man, you welding? Yeah, that's cool. You like it over here, huh? Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> and he sounds exactly like him. And then the other days, he won't talk to me at all, but he'll walk by and he'll be like, yeah, you got to watch out. There's a lot of haters over here. You got to watch out, man. You know what I'm saying, right? And I'm like, no, I I don't know what you're talking about. Haters? What what haters? He's like, oh, you see what I'm talking about. You, ju- you just give it a few days. You just give it. It's just. It's just and, then, and then and then like the next day, I'm like, it's like, yeah, you still like the job? The, ha- the haters ain't getting to you, huh? I'm like, no, no, I'm good. And he's like, yeah. How how you like it over here? Wait, wait, you, they got you fusing? I'm like, yeah. Wait, what does like, fusing mean? It's it's f- fusing is you're instead of welding, you're melting corners okay. so that it's not sharp because it's surg- uh it's like you know surgery tables and shit. So uh, for animals. Okay. So a- a- anyways, so he's like, uh, yeah, I weld cages all day. So so he's like, oh, they got you fusing, huh? Don't get too comfortable. They're going to move you as soon as you like it here. And then I'm like, okay, uh, I like every job. And then, like, the next day, he's like, yeah, you know, they they got that new guy in here. He's going to take your job. He gonna take, you're going to move up with us and do the big boy stuff. I'm like, well, I do everything around that. And then, like, he's like, why the fuck are you so happy? I can't crack you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> did, you call, did you say he called you a cracker? No, I, he's like, I can't crack you. You're just happy no matter where you're working. You don't care where they got you at. I'm like, no, I don't. I fucking, I just like this job, you know. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. No, he just this whole time, I'm picturing that guy's voice, and then just somebody who came back from Vietnam, thinking there's just people in bushes and shit, you know. He got that little raspy little voice. He, I mean, he's just like Pinky from yeah. X-ray. Say what? One more motherfucking time. What? What? Say what? What? Like, say what? 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 I gotta. F- I know exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he look, he, dude. He Does sounds, he look like Pinky? No, no, he doesn't. I can't, I can't describe what he looks like. So, are you, you guys are friends? I, I, I guess now we are because uh, I, I, he, he thought I was really cool because I brought in a BMX bike to weld. Nice. Like, oh damn! I used to have a mongoose like that back in the hood. Used to sell shit. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no, I used to have one like that. So. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I, d- dude, that's how I feel all the time on an episode with you, man. <laughs> he used to have a mongoose. Yeah, he used to have a mongoose. What's a mongoose? A bike. A BMX. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shut up! You understand what I'm saying? I know, man. I'm maybe just... the maybe the the viewers don't because I do. I know I have a speech impediment. No, I think it's they don't understand because they're Scottish, right, Ross? Irish. Actually, I have a lot of Irish people working yeah. at where I work at Jewel, and they're they're, they're, they're awesome people. I love you, Irish people. Yeah, you, you know, it's funny. Um, what better way to spend 4th of July than it be talk shit about other races? Because I literally, I walked into, I'm not going to tell where I went, but I went to a barbecue, and I just walk in there, and, and 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 it was just like the whole time just talking about how much they hate everybody else but American. And, I'm, and, and then they start talking about like, yeah, man, those fucking illegal slobs fucking wearing Adidas and shit. Man, they, they driving fast and shit. I'm like, oh hell, I am Slav. 
I am leaving table. You know. <laughs> no, I mean, I think I think the, w- the one guy brought it up because um, so yeah. It, uh, long story short, he came to the party. He he he's a he, very nerdy guy. I could tell. He brought a whole. He brought a fucking. You know how cigar boxes look. Mm-hmm. He got mm-hmm. one of those that are like for sixty of them, but he had like four cigars in there. No joke. He had exactly four, and somebody said, "Oh, he's offering all these." And I went. It was one of my girlfriend's friends, so I'm just like, "Oh, you know, whatever." Uh, I definitely want a cigar if he's giving them out, and he brought the whole box, trying to act like you know he's fucking Don Corleone here, and so I'm like, "Oh, I heard you're giving out cigars." He's like, Wh- "How are you related to this family?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, dude, nobody else wants cigars here. People, few people like cigars. Just give me. And he's like, all right, I'll give you this one. And then he hands it to me. And then he goes upstairs to get a cutter. And he's like, ah, would it be any cancellation if I give you a Roman candle instead? <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, dude. How the fuck do you smoke? I can't smoke a Roman candle. And then like the whole yeah. And then we got into the whole how much, how fucking shitty Slavs in this world are. You know what else? Sl- Slavic is just like Russian, Czech, Polish. Oh, I'm Czech. Be careful what you say. You're Czech? <laughs> yes. All right. I don't know if I can do this I anymore. thought you said you're uh, Italian. I'm Czech, German, Greek. Okay, I'm a quarter. Czech, Italian, German. What I want to know is what are, <laughs> which one are you in your pants? Czech, German, Italian. Greek. Greek. <laughs> yeah. That's... You got some euros <laughs> down there, huh? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know. So the barbecue. How was do you fun. know like Slavs? The, uh, that's who uh, I we do like a, a lot. It more than I like everybody. I do you know? too. Uh, I, I especially do like Germans a lot for some reason. Oh, besides Germans, I don't like Germans. Sorry. Oh, really. get the fuck out of here, Todd. No, <laughs> I mean. Todd Schweigen. I don't know. It's just a nice mistake and a Schweigen. Anyways, yeah. I um, so things are going well for you at the Walden. Yes, things Factory. are going well. <laughs> good, 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 no, good. Uh, Did you get oh. that cigar? Did you get to enjoy the cigar? Or? Yeah, yeah, I got to enjoy the cigar. Uh, he made me sit through his whole conversation. He's like, no, let's talk, buddy. Let's talk. And, yeah, I, I had to sit there and, yeah. Um, oh, boy. You know who I hate? Yeah. Everyone and then and then um I told uh they started talking about how shitty Europe is and I'm like well I went there on vacation it's it's all, it's actually pretty nice and uh, then um I think I mentioned how much it hits you how fucked up it is when you well I was saying how a lot of people crack jokes about the Holocaust here and then it it really hits you when you go to one of the concentration camp museums oh yeah and, I believe it I and uh because because. Well, well, they, well they were t- one of the kids went to France, and he went to the catacombs, and he was talking about how, like, all the bones are out in the open, like, you can touch them, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's the truth. Like, this is the truth. I'm not talking shit. In Europe, a lot of the museums are out in the open because there's just more respect. Like, people here, they'll fucking, you put something out in the open, like, whatever, Abe Lincoln's desk, somebody's going to go fucking tag or scratch their shit into it, you know? And a lot of the stuff there, they, they don't have windows or anything, like... All the shoes from the gas chambers and the ovens, they just have a whole pile of shoes right there. You could you could you could fucking grab it if you want. A you handful of ashes. You didn't find that kinda of emotional or depressing though? Yeah, yeah, it was. It it hits you right away. Yeah. Doesn't fucking matter if you're Jewish or not. Like like that is some nutty shit. And but uh anyways, so after that he started cracking Jew jokes and I'm like, Yeah, I'm gonna go get some hot dogs, you know. <laughs> I so. thought Talking about your father's, you know, lack of health was going to be the only dark topic we talked about. You didn't yeah, say anything yeah. about the Holocaust. Okay, man. I'm sorry. Let's. Can you do your impression of your coworker again? That was fun. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, no, P- no. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll move on to my next story since we haven't had any genocide. Gen- yeah, a different genocide. No, no. This, this is a good. Uh, and Ross, you haven't heard this, so I, I really need your opinion. Um. Okay. My birth, my birthday is May twenty nine. Go ahead. I, I I wanted to have a party on that weekend, or just have people over, which would be I don't know May twenty seven or something. And what? 
I saw it, but I had the walk, of course. I would have been here, man. I'm. That's it, what they all say. But it was that's, last that's moment. I get it, dude. I'm just another Brian. Too. No, dude. you're not, man. It, it's like you made it like you. I got the invite on Facebook like I know, two I days know. later. I know. Do we have to arrange another boxing match? Oh, shit. No, how about, better start training, man. How about a little more notice next time? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go train at my bar, Weenie Hut Juniors. That's oh. right. Go to the brewery, do some yep. working out. Yep. Well, no. So okay. So here's how my fucking birthday went. You won't believe this, Ross. Tuesday was my actual birthday, 29th. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm driving home. Kelly calls me to wish me a happy birthday. Right when she calls me, I hit the brakes and slam into someone. At <laughs> fucking 30 miles an hour dent my hood up like it just kind of dent up the engine kind of moved like an inch forward but it didn't really break anything it just kind of dented forward and this lady pops out she was uh late uh and she's like a nurse so i'm just like oh fuck i better get the fuck out of this and she's like what you must be on drugs i'm telling you kid you better watch out kiddo you better i i was not expecting that are you on something are you on something because i was so tired from work i was just kind of like all right where's your insurance all right, let's get this over with. It's like, are you on? I'm like, I didn't want to tell her, you know, this is like my 14th crash in my life. So, ah, uh, this is just routine. No, but, so I crash in her, give her 300 bucks. She o- Luckily, she only noticed like a scratch on her bumper when her entire bu- uh, exhaust pipe was dented, like ripped open. So, uh, so she gave me three. I get home. I'm like, I'm fucking tired as hell. I don't want to do shit. Gavin comes. He goes. I heard about this. Oh, about the dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I couldn't understand what you meant on Facebook. Well, well, yeah. So no, I'll, I'll, I'll see it on the. All our love in Ireland has to hear about this because I wonder mm-hmm. if they, you know, this is like, but this only happens in this fucking country. This is like some Jerry Springer shit, okay? Because I get, I get, yeah. Gavin's friend, he's got a small friend named uh, Arshis. He's he, he has like a. Mm. He something um I don't know if he has like maybe dwarfism or was just uh born prematurely but he's like a, a lot smaller than the rest of the kids even smaller than Gavin Yeah okay but he doesn't have like a huge forehead like I don't know what the proper term like midgetism or How's his fingers you I don't have like No no he he looks like a normal kid he's just small like like Tinkerbell so you know okay. But anyways he doesn't fly around but anyways <laughs> he um Gavin's, hey, my buddy got punched in the face for no reason. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, how would you guys handle this? If you had a kid, it's a tough thing to handle at first, right? It, like, Gavin bull- did bully? get punched. His buddy did? His buddy did. What, what, so how so, do you, So his parents could have get involved? Well, his parents, I guess they couldn't speak well English because they're Indian. Okay. And Bill told me, I think you said, like, you just stay out of it, like, not get involved, yeah, right? Not your chair, not your problem. Yeah, no. yeah. Well, me... I I didn't know the complete story. And, you know, kids can fucking make up shit. So I'm like, let me know what happened. Long story short, this kid, uh, they were playing, like, Ross, you ever play, uh, like, uh, Lava? Yes. Or, like, Blyman's Bluff? Yes, I did. Yeah, or Wood Chips, yeah. So the kid tried to jump on a rock or a platform where the bully tried to jump on a rock where the Indian kid was mm-hmm. by pushing him off into the Wood Chips. Instead, he slipped fell on his back and then punched the kid like three times in the face so i'm like all right whatever let's go talk to the mom i'm walking the kid's running by this 10 year old flicking me off saying fuck you motherfucker fuck you motherfucker a 10 year old so i'm like okay i think i know what happened you know (laughs) so i'm trying to make it so i mean i i I tried to run to his house before him and just just to see like what what is and his mom's like calling everyone in. She looks like a she looks like some trailer trash crack horse. She's in her fucking undershirt, her sag nips showing, you know, sausage links drooping, you know. Mm. And so that that sounds sexy to me, right? Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. Imagine how those can twirl, especially on a sweaty day. Oh, you know? d- yum. And she lives close to here. She yeah, she lives like a like a block away. All right, Ross, let's go. So you want a double di- double dicko? No, Ross. We're just talking about the nips right now. <laughs> You're already moving to like I don't even know what base that is because <laughs> I don't want to know what that base looks like. You know. <laughs> no, but a- anyways, so uh, I'm like, hey, you know, I heard your kid's a bully. Um, 
I don't know if it's true, but I heard he kid punches he punches this kid in the face. And she like before I could finish my message, she's like, No, no, that kid punches people in the face. He punches. I'm like, that guy? He's the smallest kid in the group. Is he some fucking like Indian samurai? Are you fucking kidding me? He he punches she's like, Yeah, yeah, I got it on video. And and at that point, Tyler, the bully, he's mooning me. His ten year old sack is pressed up against the window through in their house while I'm talking to this mom. I'm like this family is so full of shit. And speaking of shit, she's got 20 fucking dog shits on her front lawn all over the fucking place. Are they uh, Trump supporters? Probably. <laughs> the, the, the dog shits, not the family, right? Both. Both, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you want to you wanna have a fraudulent vote to have more. You exactly. Just register each sh- shit. Oh, here's Mr. Peanut. Here's Mr. Corn. You know. And this, these are the kind of people that makes exactly what makes America look bad. Yeah, it is. It is. And and you know what? That's the fun. I, I mean, I'm not going to get into politics, but it's no. funny how everybody like in these town and like townhouses and shit, how everybody's like, oh, yeah, it's some fucking black guy under foreclosure. No, it's some white trash who doesn't know how to use a fucking condom, you know? Mm-hmm. And any anyways, she uh, she's like, no, I got to. I'm like, OK, so I'm so pissed because I could tell the truth. I'm like. I, I'm I'm tired, but I could still talk shit, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so so I look high out of my mind because I'm talking the worst shit, but I'm just like completely monotone, like like I just got a Xanax or something, you know. And I'm just like, yeah, you know. Well, uh, so that's what you do. What does um, that sound? Oh, that's the table creaking. Oh. Sorry, I'll get off of it. But no, so I'm like, so that's what you do. You get a, uh, you see kids fighting. You go polish up that meth pipe, pack it. And you're like, I'm gonna videotape some kids. That's the kind of parent you are. You're gonna, you're just gonna watch some kids. And she's like, Get the fuck off my property. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. I'm like, you know, before you send in that video of kids fighting, you should tape some of these dog shits right here. Zoom in on here. You got a new phone. Zoom in on that texture of the steaming shit right here. She takes a dog shit and throws it at my face. And this is all my birthday. This is all my birthday. Takes a dog, and then I'm like, All right, I think that's assault. Meanwhile, there's seven. There's like ten kids. The whole fucking Sandlot crew chilling there. Oh yeah. And and the the ki- the the kids' parents, you know, who can't speak English well. They're all watching this whole thing. I'm like, you know what? I'll I'll I think I'll call the cops. And it's my birthday, so I'll press charges because it's it's my fucking birthday. I got dog shit in my face. So, cops come. Long story short, he's like, no, you know what? You need to cool down. You guys need to just walk home. I'm like, how the fuck is that legal? How is that legal? I see all. The, I, I I keep having hope for good fucking cops, despite all these viral videos of cops shooting fucking people for no fucking reason. Give me a reason to be, you know. All right, hang on. Let's back up. Yeah. What did you hope would happen when you? Well, I was I was hoping she'd get charged or fined with something. No, no, no. Before that. Before. Uh, before that, when you went to her house. Oh, I was just hoping she'd talk to her kid and be like, you know, you really need to like settle down. That's what I would do to Gavin if he did something like that. Gab is not ca- um, ca- capable of punching anybody. I don't think he's not. He's too much of a good kid. I mean, any kid is capable of that shit. You know, kids. I I mean, I don't know. He's just some not, pe- not to mention ki- kids punch stuff for on an accident. Maybe like they're on impulse. You know, like a, you know, they get really hurt. Or, you know, I didn't even like what I'm trying to say is he he could have been a friend who just punched him, not a bully. But then when I hear, you know, he's constantly swearing, constantly punching kids, and then you know showing me his 10-year-old nutsack through the window. Obviously, this kid has a fucking problem, you know? So, I, a, anyways, I, I, oh, I was yeah. I was hoping it would just be talked out and be like, hey, don't do this anymore, or at least just get the right story, because I didn't even know what the fucking story was. I didn't want to get involved. But it's, but it sounds to me he might have a problem, or he's just a spoiled brat. The kid who punched? No, no. No, not the kid who punched the guy. Yeah, no, he's 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 just a redneck. Yeah. He's a fucking redneck. And, and so I... Uh, I don't think you can say you didn't want to get involved. Well, no, I didn't want I didn't I didn't want it to escalate to something. I wanted to get involved by just being like, "Hey, you know, and, and like parents meeting each other sort of, you know, like, "Hey, my name is Phil, blah blah blah, whatnot." And I I, you know, I think maybe your child needs to cool it down a little bit. I I I don't know what the whole story is. Uh, did you talk to him what the whole story was? I really I know it's hard to believe that I'm capable of this type of t- chill temperament no you're, you're a stepdad and you know you yeah. you, you, you have to you know learn 
to you know be not, it, not yeah not on. to mention this yeah. is the first you, like I, I I don't mean to sound blunt to you guys about this you won't know what the fuck it feels like until you have a kid because no, it's like I the fir- it's the first time that you deal with something like that yeah you but know? nothing happened to your kid oh yeah no no nothing and well I mean I was trying to figure out what happened. I, I didn't. I didn't know what happened. So this could happen potentially to Gavin. This this asshole. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that not to mention, G- Gavin doesn't like to share that stuff. So maybe it could have happened to him before, because he said, "Oh, he does it to people all the time." So I, I don't. Know, he could. It could happen before, and Gavin just took care of it himself because he's not, you know, the smallest kid in the group. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, yeah. She's like, "Get the fuck off my property." The cops They're, come. They ask you to leave. Yeah, cool yeah they out. ask me to leave. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so if it's not illegal, that means you guys could leave. And, you know, she she threw, like, the 20th shit at me. So I could gather up all these, uh, you know, 19 shits, make a nice little pie, and just mash it into her face. Because it's, you know, it's legal. America! You know? And they're like, no, why would you do that? That's indignant. That's indignant. They kept saying that. I'm like, well, I just, I think she should be press charged all the way. She's, she, and they're she, like, Sorry, go ahead. And they're like, no, 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 that's fine. I'm like, all right, I am tired. I just got out of a car accident. Please, officer, I'll be as polite as possible. You tell me if you were in my shoes how you would deal with this. And he's like, well, obviously, they're not a very stable family. We've gotten calls from by, because of them before. If I were you, I would contact association and have them fine for all those dog shits right there. I'm like, okay. I go to the corner. I wait for the association lady. Because I guess she got called because everybody in the neighborhood is out at this time seeing that there's fucking cops everywhere and this sausage link broad, you know, yelling at me and twirling full speed, you know. So she calls her ex-husband and tells him that I was about to beat her up or the, and, that, and that I'm stalking her their kid. So he comes by and he's like, somebody got a problem with my son? Somebody got a problem with my son? I'm like... I, I'm I'm so pissed because I I realize she's not gonna get pressed charges and the cops left at this point. I'm just waiting for the association lady. I'm like, you know, yeah, I do have a problem. You need to fucking take that pit bull off that leash and put your fucking redneck family on that leash. And he's like, what? What'd you say? What'd you say? I'm like, yeah, you know what? I I heard your or, or, or that and that wife keeps yelling. You need to get that stinky Indian and that illegal Russian off the fucking lawn and go back to where they came from. And I just kept going like, but Mother Russia, Mother Russia. And then she she keeps yelling. And so I'm just like, listen, your wife makes awesome videos, I heard. What Which cousin is Tyler fucking next? And he's like, what the fuck did you say? What the fuck? You're talking about my kid cousin and fucking his cousin? Blah, blah. And um, I think the the he that's when he started pushing me with his chest. By the way, he would have totally torn me apart. He was the size of a football player. So I'm and and I kept talking trash, you know. Let oh, him. You should let him hit you, so you can actually get can press charges. I I was trying to do that, but here's the catch. Another neighbor, call sees him. He, he's the 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 ex started pushing me with his chest, you know, when people try and start a fight. And I'm just, and I and I started get, egging him on. I'm just like, oh, dude, come on, man. I th- those are some nice titties, <laughs> way better than those saggy things in back of you. I could see why she's an ex, man. And and he's like, what, what? And he keeps, hey. so somebody thought he, he was going to hit me, so they called the cops again. They come back. Before they come back, the association lady is walking across the lawn because she heard the whole story from the neighbor. And there's shits, and she's like, this is, you're getting fined for this steak. You can't steak a dog outside. You can't have, you got to clean up after your dog. You got about 20 crabs. You're getting fined. You're getting fined. The ex runs over, throws the fucking lady on the pavement. There was a 70-year-old lady. Cops come back, and I'm like, okay, so dog shit is an assault. Being ra- calling me a, a, a legal Russian and then a, a stinky Indian isn't race, you know, somehow racist or harassment. And then throwing a fucking old lady on the ground is an assault. And they're like, no, no, you stayed here. You didn't go home. You you instigated this. So we're not pressing any. Tra-. And they left. So that's how that story ends. Yeah. Why won't this stay? It will stay. Can Here, you, I'll oh, get it to stay. Can you pause it or you don't care? I don't care. Now, it's, now it'll stay. All right, thank you. I got to say, Phil, you know, be, being a parent, it's not, always, it's not easy, is it? No. And, and, and you know what's, well, okay, so this got dragged out more because a week or two later, 
that kid doesn't play with that group of kids anymore. It doesn't play anymore. Because I, 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 I took the Manly... Well, I had a man discussion with Gavin and his friends, and I said, you know, if anything like that happens to Tyler, you just, you know, kind of gang fight Clockwork Orange on him. You know? <laughs> they they won't know what that means. Well, I, 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 I explained where to hit him and shit. You know. Oh, gotcha. So you're gonna put a. You gotta be a good father. You're gonna put a you know? dick in, in somebody's mouth. <clears throat> I don't think that happened in Clockwork Orange. I, I thought he saw the, at the end before he went to the jail, he put. He put a dick in it. No. No, it was a, it was a big uh, statue. Oh yeah, no. In the beginning, yeah, yeah, no. There's a lady that he burglarizes who has. Uh, she's like an Andy Warhol avant garde lady. Yes. And she's got a huge chair. Out of uh, like porcelain, that's a large dick and balls. Yes, and, and, and he smashes he, her face with yeah, it. Yeah, that yeah. that kind of thing. I mean, if I had a dick and ball statue, I'd totally give it to you. I'm really surprised you and Kelly don't, don't have one yet. I mean, I don't know. It really add to the I'm, basement. I may might might make one out of my father's. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's but, so that's so wrong. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, any so the next two weeks they would play and and uh, that white trash whore. Kept screaming and calling Gavin a, a little bitch. Can you fucking believe that? It's like you little bitch. That's how bitches wear, like your father. And I, I'm like, I'm gonna let it go. You know, I'll, I'll give it three strikes. There was never a third strike. He literally we, called Gavin yeah, a little bitch. She did. What? What? Kind every of, single day for two weeks. What kind of low life? Yeah, cunt exactly. Bitch, we call such a great kid like Gavin. Exactly. Yes. What kind of low life cunt would do that? To, I, I, okay. And please tell I'm Kelly. A, I'm, I'm a weird motherfucker. And please tell Kelly I said that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm I'm a weird motherfucker, and I I can I I have a explosion of emotions. Mm. I don't. I have never in my life tried to think. I I can't come up with a solution. How the fuck can you be a grown adult, and 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 call a little kid a bitch, a ten year old like like at some especially someone else's kid. Yeah. Maybe if you're like homeless and you're having a bad crack trip. But, I mean, I don't know. It's that, just, that's just our times. I don't I know. I, yeah. I Growing up, I don't know. You guys growing up, do you ever heard of uh, something like this? A t- any 10-year-old parent called anybody a 10-year-old? I, I, I had a 30-year-old call me an asshole, but that was after I took a shit in his car scene. Okay. That's, so it's kind you of would being, be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. It was well-deserved. Yeah. And the, Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that she didn't do the third strike, by the way, because there's a lot of geese. Like get kid, uh, hit around here, mm-hmm. and you know she thinks she's gonna scare me with her ex. Well, um, I was gonna get one of the geese that were hit because I'm against animal cruelty, um, and man. I was gonna crucify it on her door. So, man, don't you consider yourself Buddhist? Yeah, and that like agrees with your. I, I think I, I consider myself a Taoist, mm. and and that's kind of like a. Yin and Yang, it's sort of like a, um, I guess I sort of read it and calibrated it with my own life in the sense that because because Taoism and Buddhism isn't a religion. You don't worship or idolize. You just sort of get a guidebook to life. Sure. Like if this shit will, if this shit, you know, if you put towards this type of energy, this type of energy type comes, you know, to you, comes back to you. So I think if somebody... If she crucified a goose on my door, I would probably bake her some cookies, you know, well, we if that you, karma flew back. You said Buddha is not a religion. How is Mormon a, a religion then? Yeah, Phil. Because I, I, I consider uh, Buddhist more religion than Mormon any day of the week. Yeah. I don't know. You, because Mormon is a, uh, well, I mean, I guess like every religion, but it's, I think, the most obvious way of uh, just a money exactly money scam. And, and they com- kind of like Scientology. Completely took over Salt, Salt Lake City and half of Utah yeah. is yeah. that religion, and um and I agree. Scientology is even worse. What yeah. they what they worship is complete nonsense, man. Well, okay, I just want to know. So, how would you guys react? I want to know. Everybody, including the old lady that got thrown on the ground, told me that she was very happy that I didn't. Um, that she she couldn't believe that I was that calm. Because she said that I looked like somebody who'd murder somebody. That's Wait, she, that calm. You were like insulting the ex-husband's ex-wife. You were yeah, but I wasn't like, sc- antagonizing I, her. No, I mean I was I was screaming and out of energy and 
I, I wasn't screaming and I was out of energy and I was kind of like monotone the whole time. Kind of like, uh, I'm trying to think, of, like Stephen Wright almost, you know. Sure. I, I would say I'm very so. proud of you because it's, this would have been the Well, how, how would you, I mean, either, I know that, especially, but like you wouldn't escalate it to a, a, that far. But I mean, how would you, for example, react to somebody throwing a piece of shit at you for for you trying to solve a problem? I you know. think you're looking at it from a point of view. No, from a perspective that, like, I don't know what I would do if someone threw a piece of shit at me. Also, I would probably not wind up in that position because I wouldn't take it upon myself to lecture a parent about behavior that one I didn't see and two didn't affect my yeah kid. I would reasonably. Like let the school know, like. Oh yeah, actually the that week, that um, that that happened. Uh, they both go to the same aftercare, and I went to the aftercare to be like, hey, I just want you to know, I don't want my kid playing around this kid. Does he ever bully kids here? And and he's like, no, no, no none of the kids play with him. I'm like, oh well, that kind of makes sense. Uh. And then I told them this, uh, like what happened, you know, and they're like, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you know what? We're not supposed to talk about this, but that makes a lot of sense because uh, that the the ma, the white trash chick, she got arrested before at aftercare because apparently she doesn't have full custody of the kids. So when she went to go and sign them out, they wouldn't let her because she's not like on the list. So she just tried legally, I guess, kidnapping them. And the cops came. So I'm like, oh, okay. And that's kind of where I let it go. Because I'm like, they got enough fucking problems in their life. Right. You know. You don't you, you don't know what shit that kid's gonna go through, you know. When you when you finish vi- uh, visit your family in Poland, does this shit happen all over the world with No, dude. I, I hate to say it and I hate to hate on this country because there's a lot of things, but this shit only happens in America. No way. Yeah, that's such a generalization. There it, are it does. bullies in other countries. There are there are, are there are bullies, but the, like like something like the shit you see on Jerry Springer. There's no such thing as that in, in any other country. Well, can, can I do this? It, people who are watching Ireland, what we're talking about, it is ever you ever heard this? Yeah, please ever, comment. Please okay. comment. Yes, because sometimes us Americans feel like we do always hear this shit happening in this country. I mean, or like even like shootings, yeah. you know, does it happen anywhere else? Well, I hear a lot of countries who don't have guns. They have um, knives, um, knives and like massacres. So they go around stabbing people, but not as much as like shooting, shootings like at schools. Yeah. I mean, I'm 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 not trying to talk shit. It's, that's just true, you know. Well, we have the right because we were born in this country, and we have a right to, you know, yeah, my country. And not to mention, you know, when you when you take everything into consideration, like there should be the most fucking tension in a country where so many different cultures are blending together. Exactly. So it is going to happen here. Yeah. You know. I just think it's a little short sighted to say like this only happens in America. Like, no, I mean, like people are people. Everywhere. Yeah. I don't think it's an American condition. I think it's maybe a human condition that people get f- emotional and, and angry and consequently throw dog shit. Well, I just think that's as low as a low you can do throwing dog shit at somebody. It's like, it's almost like it's worse than taking that shit. Almost as bad as taking a shit on somebody. Yeah, I'm I mean, pissing on somebody. Well, and then and then you're you're living off of welfare, and then you're calling your ex saying that somebody's beating you up, and then, you know, w- w- what's next? Then you then you th- throw an old lady down who's just saying, no, this is the property line. You need to clean this up. Like I would, people, I I, I mean, I don't know. From what I know, because I grew up in a Polish household. I mean, you just take care of your shit. You talk to a kid, or or you just get it done. Or no, it didn't happen. Please leave me alone. Just like. I don't know. It, it doesn't escalate to that dramatic. I guess I don't know. I don't know if it's like movies or what. Call, I don't know. I can't. I can't explain. You know, what I also I would love to learn. Uh, no. Also, please comment. Does other other countries have welfare? Like, and t- people take advantage of welfare in other countries? Because I think I'm that not, I'm not sure. Because uh, I believe I know my aunt lives off a of disability. So so do I, but I have a job. Yeah, but she gets like her rent paid by the government. Oh, that's different then. Okay, so. Also, we're making the assumption that this woman is on welfare. 
No, she's... Right, is that the connection we're making to the story that No, she, she is. Like, her, she owns that house through, like, skipping loans. Kind of kind of like when I first tried to buy the house that I wanted to get out in, uh, like, a f- little further south. Did I tell you about that? Well, like a short sale? Yeah, there was a short sale. That It was a foreclosure, and... Um, I forgot how it worked, but there's there's just a bunch of people who where what they do is they go on welfare, they get approved. There's a there's like a welfare loan. There's like a new law in Illinois where there's a welfare loan where the government gives you a loan. I don't know, like say fifty, sixty grand, and the house is a hundred grand. They give it to you, thinking that we'll give you a kickstart, and then you pay off the rest, and then you could like you know whatever. Every single what happens to these houses is they don't pay shit, and then it's pretty much like they have fifty grand and they trash the houses. So then they what they do is they try to sell it at a lower price, but then realize it's too low and and these people don't want to fucking like buy it. Like like, like the government basically the bank does not want to sell it for that low. Right is what it's saying. So and it keeps giving out these loans. So these people they just got to keep moving from place to place because they're on welfare and on these welfare loans. I still don't understand what. How do people qualify for welfare? I'm on disability. You have welfare you, worse than disability in a way. What What do you mean by worse? It's like, like I get a, a certain amount of money a month. You'd get a shitload more money if you had a bunch of kids, you know, that you can't take care of. Which is never going to happen because I'm smart. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yes. So pretty much, they they get the money because they can't afford having a family. Yeah. Do you remember being a checker at, at Jewel? Yeah. That Rick, that's the same thing. He's on welfare. No, there's a there's a thing that will they the thing a Rick program. Oh, Wick. I thought yeah. you said Rick. You know what I'm saying now? At Rick Mueller. No, no. it's the, it's the yeah Wick. Yeah. yeah is that no? That is what it, yeah or yeah. Link card. Yeah. Yeah, all that shit. Well, Link is with something I would do when I'm on my own, but that's a yeah. little money. Wick is yeah, yeah, yeah. Is exactly what government is paying for food, right? Mm-hmm. When people have kids, right? Yeah. It's like I always say to myself, if you can't afford having kids, why, why pay for food? Why have it? Well, some people are dumb. Yeah, it's like... It's are, so, are we falling into a rabbit hole, Mr. Bill? No, I was going to say, is it so dumb if they can get the government to pay for everything for them? Like, that seems pretty clever and cunning to me. If they have iPhone Xs and Gucci Pusses, yes. Which I've seen a lot at Jewel. So, yeah. who's dumb? Who's... Well... I, I No, I, I, I don't know where we're going with this. I'm trying to say they're on welfare, right? Yeah. But they're walking around with a thousand. Oh yeah, phone yeah, yeah. That and, shit and always a, happens. Like a thousand, like a hundred thousand worth of purses, which I've seen almost weekly at Jewel. Yeah. And 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 you know it's funny. I got in an argument too on this uh, on this subject, but it's funny because my friend was arguing about, um, my friend was arguing about gun violence in bad neighborhoods, and I was arguing about health insurance. Because I had just gotten a raise at my old job, and I was like, hey, you know, this is fucking bullshit because there's people with, like, a life condition like me or like you or like Bill yes. where we get rejected health insurance, and then, you know, you go to this neighborhood where this person gets shot every fucking weekend because they're being stupid, and, you know, like, I you, you like, you get that rejected, and then the, the, this person, I, I don't know. I, I guess what I was saying is I, what the point that I got to was that I feel like if you have a, you, you know how you can go to jail just for being affiliated with a gang? I hear that. You know that, right? If, 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 you, if, if you get hurt, if you accidentally kill somebody, we can go to jail. Yeah, yeah, that's manslaughter. But I'm not, ta- I'm talking, I'm not talking about, I'm saying, I'm saying like if you wore a shirt that says Vice Lords, you can go to jail just for because they think you're a gang member. You can just go to jail for being in a gang. Really? Yeah. And what I think is true, and what I think would stop violence, that I said, I I think that if you are in a gang, then you should, one, n- be rejected health care because you're going to be in the w- there every week for a fucking gunshot, and you should probably get castrated so it doesn't pass on. I mean, why not? I don't know. Um, was that too far? I think so. I don't know. I think 
I mean, it, okay. I, I, I read this story about World War II. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to mention... Uh, I, I think... I, okay, I think it was a World War I... No, no, it was World War One, and it was a Polish general. And he... He got... He was in a trench, and he got surrounded by eight German officers. And... He had a he had a gun on him, but he dropped it, and they and they were about to. Uh, they, my letter? That was mine. Here's yours. Oh. So he uh. My so bad. so he's surrounded by eight German officers. They throw a grenade in there because they don't have any ammo. He has a gun. They blow off his legs from like hamstring down. So he holds them eight fucking officers hostage. He has two officers carry him with amputated legs. The two, uh, and then and then the rest like carry his ammo, his backpack, and his legs that got blown off because he wants them sewn on again. So what I'm seeing is here's somebody who can survive a fucking explosion, being amputated in a trench, and you're telling me you can't move to like a better neighborhood and shit, and and get your shit together because the friend that I was talking to did that. And I and anyways, and I said this, and he said, "Man, fuck you," because I have a cousin who's in a gang. And I'm like, dude. If I had a fa- if if Gavin was in a gang, I would pull. I would, I would, I would report him at least first, and second, I would probably nail him shut in his room until he fucking changes his ways. I I don't know. I think it's a lot. But you flood the south side. You go up in that area, right? Kind of in that area. In what that. in a bad neighborhood? Yeah. Not ah, uh, not really. See, uh, I I don't know what it, I don't know what it's like to be in that area. It, it, people are like like. Put you yeah, on yeah, the spot no, yeah. We don't. Gigs. No, no, we don't. But, but you know what's funny is that a lot of times they interview people in those areas, and yeah. they don't want to get out of that area because that's what they're brought up as. You know, they they can't. A lot of people they don't know how to. Con- I mean, the funny thing is, most of these people who say they need help haven't even been out of the fucking state, let alone change their lifestyle to see like if there's. They don't realize that there is a future for them. Well, let me ask you guys this: If you have the opportunity to, to, to live in another state, would you do it? Because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm 50 50 about it. Because how about I complain about this state? It's home to me. I don't know if I can live in another state. Of yeah. course you could. I could, but it'd be hard. What would be hard about it? Uh, it's just friends, family, knowing everything, being out of my comf- comfort zone, you know? Yeah. But uh, I think I can live in another state, another country. I don't think so. Could you guys and live if in another- And if the Dino Bosco can do it? So can I don't know. Dino members. Bosco might come out tonight because I kind of want Dino. <laughs> Dude, you, you miss Dino Bosco? It's been like, what, how many years now? Yeah. It's been how many? I miss Dino Bosco. Do you miss Dino Bosco, Bill? Every day. I don't think they would see much Dino Bosco, though. I dream of him. You know, I miss, I just miss th- not being as old as I am, being uh, responsible. I just wish I could just not give a fuck. Like I you used. could still do that. I'm we I'm old. I'm I, I'm wiser. I just can't, I think more than I should. What well, What do you want to not give a fuck about? But what ha- What happens tomorrow? What happens? What's going to happen tomorrow? The big up. match with Domino Sandry, huh? That's right. Wake ding, it up. Ding. With, like I was talking with. So like, you're getting nervous, is what you're saying? No, I I we do we Those regret Domino slugs. I, I, I'm trying to say left, every, every time right? I every time I die. Go. I I could have hooked up with him, but I, I yeah. walked away. And I, I to this day, why the fuck did I do that? Well, why'd you do that? Because I think I wanted to go home, and I and I regret it. Well, so then everything just comes down to that. What makes more sense for you? And yeah, at you that shouldn't point, think, you shouldn't think about the past, man. And she was gorgeous. And well, she you was, still talk to her on Facebook. I, I Send some dick pics. <laughs> she it does like dicks. She talks about it on Facebook a lot. Well, shit. And she was grabbing it down there too. Draw a smiley face on it. Unfortunately, I don't think she knows it. Something uh, what my left ball was missing. Probably wouldn't bother her. Yeah, yeah, dude, she might be into that. Anyway, I'm I'm sorry we got on this whole social shit. No, no, it's uh, you know this is what this this podcast is you know is yeah. about. <laughs> what is this podcast about? Yeah, what is it? You know, I always thought that this is podcast. This is like how it's thrown it away. In what way? Yeah, it is like Howard Stern. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it's like how is the no, but really, like uh, I, I'm getting back on that rant. Well, all right. Well, so how do you feel, Bill? Because you haven't been talking. Like, how do you feel, Mr. Bill? I think that not a single one of us is qualified to pass judgment on, let alone 
like another person's lifestyle or I think these issues are so much complicated or so much more complicated than we think they are. And it's so easy to say like, well, this guy had his legs blown off in war and you can't find a job. Like, I think that's a very, very simple analysis of the situation. Well, I think it's... I mean, my my parents did it. You know, they came here with like $20 in their pocket. I they had to work a shitload of odd jobs and then you, and you move on up. Sure. It's like, and it's like moving from a shittier neighborhood to a good neighborhood. And I don't think that gives you the right to have a self-righteous attitude about it or to look down on anyone who is on welfare or anything of that. Well, no, I, I look down on anybody who doesn't try. Because I don't think that's trying, like being like, all right, I'm going to go sell drugs and, k- and kill people. But you got to realize with my situation, I have tried to um, improve myself in my job situation. People told so me you that- haven't done any drive-bys. Oh, come on, don't interrupt what I'm saying. You're like, not, I've even, been- not even in a moving grocery cart. Oh, I've done it to Joe Spanos. I, I hit him with a uh, ghost cart all the time. Oh, oh. Bill, you want to you wanna hear what I do to... Uh, to Joe Spanos, you said this. Is it mean spirited? Yes. All right, let's hear it. Uh, I might have have to do Phil. Uh, that I do this. So you're pathetic to him. But is it a whisper? Is it is it when you guys are spooning though? No, it's just the fact that he's just sitting there and like doesn't do anything. It's like stands there, like. Oh. So it's not spooning; it's rape. So you're saying. Ah, uh, you you were just rude, that Phil. Sorry. What is this podcast about? I don't know. What is any it, of this about? This is just us this way. It's yeah. just It is. It's but, but I like it. Yeah. Did you guys ever have a serious podcast? I a seri- I think it's got I'm pretty serious. serious. Yeah. yeah. I I th- I feel you're, every ser- podcast is serious. You're not being serious, Ross? I am being serious, but I'm trying to be funny at the same no, time. No, we take this shit very you. seriously. Yeah. I think you need to try and be more drunk. Yes. It, in my opinion. How's oh. your golden monkey? It's good. You want to try it? Um, oh, you try to be responsible. Uh, no, dude, I'll try it. Yeah, it's a Belgian triple. Yeah. Is Spon- it gonna is so it gonna I- taste a little like you? Because you've been drinking from it. Go ahead. Oh. Oh shit. Guys, just don't get into a fight. What do you think about it? It's good. What what exactly does it mean by a about the triple? That's what's supposed to be. But well, I had this brand before. So, the short answer is I don't know. Yeah, too okay. too many breweries <laughs> out there. I, I don't always understand what it means by it. So, no, I know they're very strong. Yeah, exactly. But I like strong beer. Well, what's the ABV at? Do you know? Nine percent. Nine percent. Yeah. See, there you go. <laughs> Isn't uh, the strongest beer like eleven? No, the strongest beer is like forty percent. Oh, okay. I I usually have like ten or eleven percent beers. Okay. You're crazy. And what? Like Dragon Milk's like fifteen? No, that's eleven. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what I actually have a lot. Yeah. Dragon's milk. You like it? It's great. Oh, and I think I should mention right now that this episode of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing is brought to you by Dragon's Milk. Sold wherever good times are had. Uh, can I ask you something, Phil? Yeah, you, since no. we started hanging out, do do I feel like I'm a little more open about sharing? Because that's something I've been working on. Being a, sharing? sharing, yes, sharing like Be- um, Barney, s- not beer or cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. It, I, what are we supposed? Fo- I thought you meant like STDs. No, I'm just saying like I gave you a cigarette last time. I remember I gave um, Bill a couple of my beers. An old yeah. chub. Yeah, old chub. I remember I never used to do that. And that's something I'm personally been trying to d- d- uh, work on, yeah. d- d- you know, share with friends, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think you should have shared an old chub with that chick after every time I die. <laughs> she, was buying, she was buying me drinks, dude. That, and you let her walk away. Yeah, yeah. I did. So she was sharing her lima bean. Right. <sighs> Why the no. fuck am I am so such a good guy sometimes? Yeah. A good guy? Yeah. How are you a good guy? Because a, 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 a bad guy would have fucked up uh, at, the, at the concert. But, so, a she's into guy? you. A bread guy. So, like, Stubbs. Yeah, Stubbs. I don't like Is that nickname, n- but okay. um, I don't know. Do you, do you, it was the righteous thing to, like, walk away from her? Yeah. You feel, why is that? I cannot go home with somebody who's intoxicated. That's just a code. 
that I go How by. How do you think I felt hanging out all those years with an asshole named Ross? Ooh. Oh. Now you're putting me on the spot again. The boxing Fuck. match. Ding, ding. And I, you know, I always, always want to say this. Thank you for always taking care of me when I need you. Oh, you I, t- I took care of you good. But I'm being Those serious. Old chubs in the ear. You didn't. You never had to drive me home all the times you did. But you always took care of me, got me home, and I always appreciate that. Well, it's and a, you never had to a be nice a, romantic man cave. And you never were obligated. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, man, I I like to do that. Mm-hmm. I don't like to see drunk people doing dumb shit. Which a lot of time Eric does that. My other my other friend PJ. Yeah. Wait, you have other friends? Yeah, I do. Than us? You <sighs> met you met PJ. We went to put we went to Cubs game with him one time. I've we never did? been to yeah. it. Oh, Phil. I don't I don't remember. You were there. Bill's never been and I don't remember. So I guess we're fucked. You know what I always wanted I do want to take you to a Bills game, but the thing is I'm not gonna wanna take you to something that the ticket cost is hundred and fifty dollars or something you're not gonna appreciate. I see that's how much I mean to you. Dude, you don't like football. How do you know? You told me. Are you kidding me, man? Built guys in tight spandex. There you go. This is piling the, on top of each other. Exactly the reason why you're always gonna be a backup for me if I need you to. Go to exactly why I'm a last resort is what you mean. Cause that's what you mean. Dude, I took you to two Cubs game. Two. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And I didn't charge you for anything. I he was with that. didn't charge you for anything, Phil. Okay. Again, some people say, "Hey, you want to go to a, like a, something with me? I want I want money back. I never charge you once." Okay. You got that, Phil? I understand. And I did I give you money back for what, for the every? I mean, did last. Ross give you money back for Watane? No, power trip. Power trip. Sixty bucks. I'm Sixty did, bucks. Did you? Yes, I did. Okay, yeah. now I remember. That's right. Yeah. He sure did, Ross. I took you to uh, um, Enslave and um, what's it called? And what was in the phone room for free? I think I need to mm-hmm. get you a uh, notepad to keep tabs on mm-hmm. my. It's mm-hmm. not the point. I always take care. Ass. I always take care of my friends, and I'm always got you. Mm-hmm. Bill, you want to go to the concert? You know, we got to agree on something. You know, sometimes. Oh, sure. Psh, you know, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know what you like because we always. Let, let's take tabs on how many times he called him Brian. Twice, <laughs> twice today. <laughs> Does it fucking matter? No, it doesn't matter. Brian and lives don't matter. That's. Oh yeah, Brian Joan Max. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. You, uh, maybe. Uh, or uh, my name is Bill, which is pretty close to Brian. <laughs> 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 anyway, I think is now a good time to take a quick, yeah, quick oh yeah, breather. Whatever. Let's. Yeah. Pause for a minute, collect our thoughts, regroup. Uh, Thank you so much to everyone out there for listening to whatever it is this is. You guys are carrying my legs upstairs. Okay. That's your metaphorical legs? Yes. All right. Great. We'll be right back. I'm Stubbs number two. (laughs) What? what? I hate that nickname. (laughs) Are we off? No. (laughs) Yeah, we're off. Is this the mighty